Welcome back to YZ's Travel Adventures. Long time no video upload, but let's check out Springvale, one of the Vietnamese areas of Melbourne. My first impression of this suburb is that it reminded me of Cabramatta back in New South Wales, but it's the Victoria version of that. There are heaps of restaurants to eat, so you're spoiled for choice. Let's take a tour. Firstly, it is roughly an hour train ride from Flinders Street. So as we get off the train station, we encounter Springvale Road, which is a busy intersection. If you face north, you will head to Glen Waverley. If you want to check the video out, please check the link in the description box below. Facing right ahead is Springvale, as you can see a large car park ahead. As we walk around, we can find bubble tea shops, optometrists, street loads of parking and more and more food. These restaurants are usually Vietnamese, but I do see Cambodian and Chinese ones out there. Characteristic to Melbourne, you will also find lots of alfresco style eating where you can sit down outside and eat. Sydney should take more of these ideas and then bring them back from Melbourne, as you don't tend to see them very often. Right here is another large car park, which clearly shows the no entry sign in Vietnamese. So the council probably adapted quickly to the largest demographic. One pho place that's popular is Pho Hong Vung, and the original store is in Springvale, but they do have branches in Richmond and Footscray. If you walk around, you will notice the presence of coffee shops. Glory Jeans is around, but please try Vietnamese coffee if you can. I guarantee it's going to be a good choice. At Springvale Central, this is a one-story shopping center with food, groceries, and other items, including random day-to-day -day goods, hairdressers, and nail salons. Bakeries are common here too. You better get some good pork rolls here. Min Duk Bakery has a long queue, so as you know, if there's a queue, it's probably good. Then you start to see fresh fruit and vegetables on sale. Heck, you can even find durian that's not frozen to begin with. On for sale, there is also dragon fruit and avocados for cheap. You'll also be able to find fruits and vegetables that you can't find in the rest of the city. If you like bitter melon, you can try that too. There is also a flower store to give roses to your loved ones. Next to Springvale Central is Springvale Shopping Center. There is a rabbit statue in the middle of the shopping mall. On the top floor, there is a yum cha place and a couple of other supermarkets. On the ground floor, there is KFL Supermarket and this place has several other branches in Melbourne. There is also a bakery that sells meat jerky. There is a chili pork and a honey pork version along with beef. It's a delicious snack, but don't eat it too often. The parking situation in Springvale tends to be quite crowded. It is almost as bad as Cavramatta, but I think it feels a bit better. At HS Cakes, they sell durian cake and durian crepes. Has anyone tried this before? Two bakeries you should go to are Bun Bun Bakery and Tabac. They sell really good pork rolls, but make sure you order the crispy pork versions, otherwise you're not getting your money's worth. I've been to both bakeries. I can confirm Bun Bun is slightly better, but Tabac is still really good. Apart from that, there is a Woolworths and BWS on the southern end of Springvale. If you can buy an apartment in the middle of Springvale, would this be a good idea? I'd imagine it's quite close to everything and basically a lot of food and drink is at your footsteps. But anyway, that's it for this video. Please be sure to give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.